People collect information about all kinds of topics. In mathematics, another word for information is data. One way to collect data is by asking questions. This is also called taking a survey. In a survey, a question is asked, the answers are recorded, and the results are studied. A simple way to record survey results is in a tally chart. This tally chart shows the results of a survey asking the question, what is your favorite dessert? Notice the title at the top. It tells what the chart is about, favorite desserts. The left side lists the categories and includes the heading desserts. The categories are ice cream, cookies, pie, and cupcakes. The right side of the chart shows the data that was collected. It shows how many people chose each type of dessert. Instead of showing numbers, it uses tally marks. Each tally equals one vote, with the fifth mark drawn as a diagonal slash. One, two, three, four, five. The same information can be shown on another type of graph called a pictograph. Instead of using tally marks or numbers, a pictograph uses pictures to display data. This pictograph uses a heart to represent each vote. Look at the pictograph. Can you tell which dessert the people like the most? To answer this question, you must find the row with the most hearts. Ice cream has more hearts than any other row, so ice cream was chosen the most by the people who were surveyed. Which dessert do the people like the least? This time, look for the row with the least number of hearts. Since the pie row has the fewest hearts, you know that it was the least favored by the people who were surveyed. This pictograph shows the number of pets sold at a pet shop last month. The title of the pictograph is Pets Sold. The first column lists the types of animals included, dogs, cats, fish, lizards, and rabbits. The second column uses pictures to show the data. The key tells you that each dollar sign represents one pet sold. Which kind of pet was sold the most? There are many more dollar signs in the cat row than in the other rows. Looking at the pictograph information, you can see that cats were sold more than any other kind of pet. How many rabbits were sold? To answer this question, you must count the number of dollar signs in the rabbit row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each picture equals one animal, so seven rabbits were sold altogether. Which kind of animal sold the same number as rabbits? The dog row shows the same number of dollar signs as the rabbit row. The pet store sold the same number of both kinds of animals, seven. How many more fish were sold than rabbits or dogs? Count the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The number of rabbits or dogs is seven. To find the difference, subtract eleven minus seven. The answer is four. Four more fish were sold than rabbits or dogs. Which kind of pet was sold the least? The shortest row is the lizards. They are only one, two, three dollar signs in that row. Of all the animals, lizards were sold the least. A pictograph can help you better understand and answer questions about data. It is a wonderful tool for showing and studying data.